Morgan, the missing unicorn has been found. A unicorn statue from the town of Delia, northeast of Calgary, went missing early Friday morning. After being gone overnight, the 600-pound statue was found in a nearby farmer's field. It's no worse for wear, but will need a horn transplant and a bit of paint to cover up some scratches. The hope is that Morgan will soon return to its spot at the Hand Hills Craft and Village Market. RCMP are investigating. A wildlife center in Maine is celebrating a new arrival after a porcupine gave birth over the weekend. The Saco River Wildlife Center says a new porcupet has a bit of a miracle. The mother, lovingly named Betty White, was admitted to the facility to be treated for a tumor, but during her treatment, a large mass was felt on her stomach. The animal team feared she was suffering from an internal tumor, but it turned out to be a much happier outcome. Both mom and the new baby porcupet appear to be doing well and are in good health. Look at them. <laughs> so cute. So cute, Kasha, right? We love our little baby animals on we our do. show. <laughs> we really do. They're sweet. Uh, we also love this beautiful weather that you're bringing us, but there's a change on the way. There is. Uh, it's not as drastic as what's going on in Calgary at this point. Uh, we showed you Morgan the unicorn. Well, he's getting snowed on probably right now, and they're expecting a good 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. Yesterday, Calgary was 20 degrees, but we all know that's... Uh, the crazy weather over there, right? Um, Chinook winds and all, but over here we've got high pressure that continues to be dominant. It is 16 degrees. We are looking up to beautiful, sunny, blue skies, and the plan as it unfolds today, going to a daytime high of 25 in the valley, 24 for inland sections of Metro Vancouver. Just a beauty of a day it will be. Hey, have you noticed the northern lights have been very active, especially Friday night. So Saturday, we saw a lot of pictures like this coming in. There's still spilling into the newsroom, so I thank you, Vicki, who tried a few times to send this one in, and it was worth it. Vicki, this is beautiful from Cherry Creek, not far from uh, uh, Kamloops, and I love this one, the helpless romantic in me. Ah, what a kiss here in Haida Gwaii, a mid-store against this uh, very dramatic setting. Thank you, Bridget, for sending that in. This one, well, I hoped it would have been, oh, there you go, it's, it's in good placement there. This was taken in hope by Justin, so I thank you all for sharing. So, the hot spot in the entire country right now is Lillooet at 22.4 degrees. A hello to my friends in Lillooet, Jacob and Elizabeth. Uh, it's really nice over there and temperatures are going up to a high of about 23 there. So it could very well be the hot spot by the day's end as well. It could be tying with Lytton, also usually the hot spot. No wonder we do have an elevated fire danger rating at this point. It's moderate to high in some places in the orange, it's high. Uh, so being very diligent out there and certainly being careful. We do have fires already, active fires, about 20 of them, 12 of which have been human caused. Central interior highs, we're hanging on to warm temperatures over the next while. It's not going to be as warm as it has been, but this is all prompted quite the big snow melt as always happens. Um, the Nazco River above Michelle Creek is right now under a flood warning. There are also flood advisories, uh, high stream flow advisories, and the difference is here. So the river levels are or are expected to rise rapidly, but no major flooding is expected under a high stream flow advisory. But that area there near Nazco, river levels have or will exceed bank full. That's something we're watching too. So here's the cold front that's producing all that snow for Calgary and the foothills. Look at that. But that could be producing some snow for us in the Elk Valley at higher elevations, five centimeters of snow, and it is giving us some light showers. These are the weather warnings associated with all that snow. Northwestern Ontario is getting that as well. So across the province, Wednesday ushers in a big cool off for a lot of us, but you'll especially notice it in the BC piece. Whitehorse, it's 11 degrees and sunny. Over the north coast, we have sunny skies, windy conditions both today and tomorrow. The caribou in the central interior, it's Thursday that we really do cool down. Today's only a 10 degree weather day. It's windy over here. It's only 7 to 14 degrees that 
that. That's in the Columbia. The Kootenai is 22, increasing cloudiness. We've already looking at some showers over here, and it's gusty across the entire southern half of the province. Noticing gusts, words, gusts upwards of 50, possibly 60 kilometers per hour uh, in the Okanagan. Also gusty in Whistler, but it's 20 degrees, sunny skies, 22 in the capital. And here is your long range for Metro Vancouver. So hanging on to these fair weather conditions for some time. Today is Marjorie Keeper's birthday of Langley. She turns 100 today. Happy birthday to you. Absolutely. Happy birthday. Thanks so much, Kasia.